Hey, Austin, good to see you. Uh, I mean, let's just get right to it. Why, why did you want to be back? I, just, I think just from the success last year, um, you know, just coming here, it seemed like a natural fit and fitting with the guys culturally. And, uh, you know, we have a great team. We have a chance to do something. This is a team that could, uh, can go all the way possibly, you know what I mean? So to be a part of something like that, and have a role on this type of team, it's something you can't pass up. So, uh, And then stability. You know, just trying to get somewhere and, you know, just continue to improve. So just kind of get back on track. I feel like this year is my year to really kind of just get back to to who I am, the player, the player I am, the player I know I can be and um, just try to help them win games. Chris Dempsey, Altitude Sports. Uh, hey Austin. Well, then let's just talk about what what uh, what type of player. What is that player that the, the player that you can be? And then part two is. Uh, you know, you're getting training camp now and, and, and how big is that going to be in terms of you had a little, you know, you got your feet wet with the Nuggets last year and now you have a full training camp to really hit the ground running this year. Yeah, um, it, it, it'll be nice just to get more reps for sure. Um, you know, it, it, it was nice in some ways last year not having a training camp. You kind of just go and play a couple preseason games and you just figure it out. The guys kind of just get in shape that way, so. It was a short summer, man. So to have a full training camp is, is nice in some ways and others. You're just like, man, you know, it's going to be a, it's going to be a tough, you know, long year, but we're excited. And for me personally, to have a camp where I can get reps in and like learn plays and do stuff like that, it'll be nice. Last year, I was really just kind of winging it. Sometimes I'd be out there and they'd call plays and, you know, I'm just like, oh, I don't think I've ran that one before. Or, you know, you have to try to figure out the best way to, you know, fit in. So it's nice that I get to start on the same page as everybody else this year. Um, you know, build. Ryan Blackburn, Denver Stiffs. Hey, Austin, good to see you. Thank you. Uh, a lot of guys came back this year uh, that, that were up for contracts this year. You had Will, you had Jamichael, you yourself. Jeff Green is now in the fold. What is it about this group? What is it about this culture that you think made you and, and, and a variety of other guys want to stay? It's a fun place to play basketball. Um, you know, we got a lot of willing guys that like playing the right way. Uh, it's always about the team. You know, nobody's ever, you know, above that. You got a coach that that um, is fun to play for. Uh, Denver's obviously a cool city, and like I said earlier, I mean, you know, you, you we got a team that could that could do something possibly special this year, and you don't get a lot of opportunities like that. I've had very few in my career, maybe one or two, three times where I felt like maybe we could have a chance to win, but. This year could be our strongest uh, or my strongest personally. So, you know, to, I think that's – I speak for myself. You know, I can't speak for those guys, but that's why I'm back, you know, to be a part of a winning team. And uh, There's nothing better playing on that type of a team, competing for something better. The games mean more. Um, they just do when you're on one of the top teams in the league. Uh, so it's, it's real basketball at that point. And it's fun to be a part of that. Joel Rush, Forbes. Hey, Austin, good to see you. Um, have you had a chance to talk with the coaching staff about maybe your role on the team this season or how the rotations might shake out? Very minimal, very minimal. I mean, just in the free agency, you know, coming off the bench and really just being, you know, back up uh, to guard, really. Um, that seems to be my role. Um, but, you know, you never know what injuries and stuff you saw last year. I ended up becoming a starter and so you just kind of have to be, you have to be ready, you know, for both. Obviously, we get Jamal back uh, at some point this season. So, you know, we got a lot of guards, man. You got to go out there and, and, and fight for yours and, and earn your spot. And uh, I felt like I was able to do that last year, but today, this year's a new year. So you come in here not expecting anything, but willing to go out there and, and earn everything. So I think right now it's probably to back up too, but we'll see. I mean, uh, <laughs> you know, you ask me that two, three weeks from now, I have a better idea, of, you know, where we're at. but. I'm confident in myself and I'm focused and I know where I'll be at and I know I'll be a part of, uh, of, of, of the rotation. So I just got to just continue to do what I do. So Saltos, SDNA Greece. Hey Austin, how are you? How you doing? Great. Uh, how, what is the most impressive part of this team from your perspective and how optimistic you are in, in terms of uh, the chances of your team to fight for the championship this season? 
Uh, I mean, I th- I, I'm really happy about our team in terms of uh, one thing that presses me, I guess, would be, you know, we, we have we have a good group of guys. You know, it's it's not always that you have a good group of guys. You know, so you can have a good team, but it's not always a, a group of guys that get along and genuinely like each other. We actually have a team that everybody likes each other. Very little egos. Everybody's on the same page. We know how we play. We know who we play through. You know, we know who, you know, we're going to play mostly through Jokic or, 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 you know, a lot of stuff's going to be run for Michael. And everybody else has, their, like, their slots and roles around that. And Coach, you know, it, 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 that's what impresses me. It just seems like everybody's fine-tuned in, in, into what they do and what they need to do here. Everybody knows their role. So um, that's always nice. And, you know, you just hope that everybody's healthy because that gives us the best chance to win. So obviously it's really early to talk about winning the championship. But, you know. Leonardo Torres, El Comercio, Peru. Hi, Austin. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Hope you're well. Austin, without Jamal at the beginning of the season, what will be the DNA of the team? I don't really know. I don't know. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know DNA. I mean, I can tell you, I can tell you we're going to, whether Jamal's healthy or not, um, you know, we're going to win games. Uh, and then when Jamal gets back, we'll be even better. I mean, you had a player, he's an all-star caliber player. So when we have him, that's just going to make us obviously our complete team, which is what we want to be. But until then, we still feel like we can have a team that could be one of the best teams in the league. Um, we, we just got to go out there and, you know, continue to put it together. But I mean, listen, most of our stuff's through Yoke, you know, we're going to play through the big fella. I mean, so it, it, all of us guards, whoever's out there, you know, you're going to have to play through him. The ball's going to go through him a lot. He makes a lot of the right reads. Um, so it's just, you know, it's just different. You got to know how to move without the ball here, but at the same time, know how to give him space, when to cut, not to cut. I mean, that's, those are the biggest things and challenges as a guard playing for the Nuggets is spacing and, and moving without the ball. I mean, that's, that's the best thing you could do here, uh, considering who we play with. So I guess that'd be our DNA. Singer, Denver Post. Hey, Austin. Um, you know, you put you put on your Instagram that you got engaged. Uh, what did that mean for you to take that take that life step? Uh, you know, and get more stability. Uh, to your point. Yeah, I mean, I, it's, I'm trying to build a family, man. You know, so. I got two kids now and I'm extremely thankful for that. And, uh, you know, yeah, the past two, three years for me has been crazy, man. Just off the court and on the court to be co- completely honest. So it's been a whirlwind and just settling down, bro. And, and starting a family and trying that route. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, just, just being happy. I'm, I'm very thankful. I found someone who, who loves me that's my best friend and we have beautiful kids that I'm thankful for. And, um, that's that's all I focus on is just me just working and, and family time. So I'm either I'm either at the house with my kids or my or my, or my girl or I'm in the gym. It's, it's one or the other. Um, so that's uh it, it's been nice, man. It's been nice. Joel Rush, Forbes. Hey Austin, uh, please uh, correct me if I mischaracterized your previous comments. But last season, soon after you joined the Nuggets, you seem to express the sentiment that your image had kind of been misconstrued by the media and perhaps that of Michael Porter's as well. So I was wondering if you had seen Curious Mike and uh, if you had uh, any thoughts about, you know, maybe him kind of trying to take control of his own narrative um, a little bit more. I mean, well, the good thing about Mike is he's young and the best way to take control of your narrative is to hoop. You know what I mean? Because I promise you, if he plays well, ain't nobody going to be talking about whether they like Michael or not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, those conversations only happen when something's going on or, you know, I, I can tell you how many guys are really good guys who make a lot of money in this league. And or, I mean, I can tell you how many guys who make a lot of money in this league or are perceived as something and they're not that. I mean, and then there's guys like Mike who are perceived a certain way or I'm perceived a certain way. And you just never know. What's, I'm a good guy. <laughs> you're a great guy, man. You're my guy. That's for sure. Yeah. We gonna, we, we gonna keep him moving upwards, man. That's what he, that's what he here for. So we got a bunch of group, we got the good thing about us is we got a group of great guys, but all of us, I said that earlier, but uh, yeah, I mean, in terms of my, my personal reputation, I mean, there's only so much someone can do. I'm, I'm not going to go out of my way and, and, and try to get people to like me, man. Like I'm, I'm 29 years old. I have a family. I'm, I know who, exactly who I am. The people who don't like me, Hey man, I'm so, I'm, I might not be for everybody, um, but I know what I'm not. I'm not a bad guy. So 
uh, the best thing I can do is be professional um, and just be a great teammate and most importantly, be a great player uh, for this team and do everything I can and just keep moving that way. And then it, you, you let everybody else talk for you. You know what I mean? That's why you guys didn't see me do any articles this summer about my reputation or this or that. I declined doing any of that. I don't like, I just like everything else to, I want everything to be organic. I don't want to force anything. So we'll see how it goes, man. I, you know, it can only continue to go up. So. Mike Singer, Denver Post. Hey, Austin, uh, you just said Mike's your guy. Um, do you take pride in, in being, uh, I don't know if it's a mentor or not, I don't want to mischaracterize, but do you take pride in, in being an elder voice uh, potentially for Mike as he's on the come up? Yeah, I mean, we just, you know, he, the good thing about him is he's so focused and locked in, man. Like he's just, my, my, my Michael, Michael's always, uh, when it comes to him, when we talk about basketball, the dude is just, he, he's there, he's present, he's a worker, he does his job. I, there's not too much mentoring for me to do. Uh, we just keep him in line with everything else. We keep Mike in line with everything else. You know what I mean? And he, he, he's such a great guy, man. Like, it's just, it's easy to do. He's no, he's no, I, I don't know where that, again, I wasn't here early on, so I can't speak to where this, all this stuff came from with him. But like, ever since he's one of the funniest, you know, he's a good dude. And above all else, he can play basketball. <laughs> he's very good at basketball and he's a, he, he's a willing learner. He's not selfish. Um, so, you know, we just try to help him out. I try to help him out in ways where I went wrong, if anything, man, just with the little stuff. Cause that's all it'd be. It'd be the little interactions that you have pregame with, with a coach on a different team that you don't think matters. And then down the line, he's the head coach and free agencies comes up and he doesn't know if he wants to sign you. Cause your interaction with him was weird. That's all it takes in the league. It's just like everything is, it's, it's such a small league that everything matters. Man. So it's just about how you present yourself and cleaning up certain things that I didn't do well on that I've learned on now, where now it's late, so it's more work. He still has an opportunity to do it, but he's doing that himself. Mike's doing that himself, and he really is. He's, 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 he's the whole package. All right, we'll do it. Thank you, Austin. Thank you, I appreciate it.